Hey Concord, Kate Hanley here. If we haven't met, I'm the Director of Sustainability for the town, and I'm excited to share with you Sustainable Concord, our community's first climate action and resilience plan. As many of you may know, we've been working on this plan for many months now, and a draft is now available for public comment until June 22nd. I wanna share with you a quick overview of what's in the plan, how it came together, and how it will help us meet our climate goals. We began developing this plan in 2019 with group meetings, interviews, and over 100 people attending an open house. We're completing this plan in what feels like a very different time and place than when we started. The pandemic has certainly changed the way we work, the way we connect, and the way we gather, but it has not changed our vision for a sustainable and resilient Concord. Sustainable Concord is our roadmap to greenhouse gas emissions reductions of 80% by 2050, the town's goal, and to address the impacts of climate change on our community. The plan has been strategically designed to prioritize actionable solutions for both reducing greenhouse gas emissions mitigation while improving our community's resilience adaptation to the impacts of climate change. And that's because addressing climate change will require a focus and a commitment to both. To reduce Concord's contribution to climate change, we need to quickly reduce greenhouse gas emissions from all sectors of our community. We know where emissions come from in Concord. About 60% come from buildings, residences and businesses and town buildings. And about 40% come from transportation, cars and vehicles registered in Concord. Concord's goal is an 80% reduction by 2050. And to achieve that, we need to reduce emissions 2.5% each year. Scientists tell us that we need to reduce emissions 45% by 2030 to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. That means a reduction of, by average of 3.5% per year. Emissions community-wide dropped 1% per year between 2008 and 2016, only 6% total. We need to reduce a lot faster to, in order to meet our climate goals. We also need to be prepared for a changing climate. Even as we reduce greenhouse gas emissions, we know that decades of increasing global emissions have made climate impacts inevitable. We are already experiencing the impacts in Concord in the form of increased flooding, droughts, heat, and intense storms, and we can expect more. These climate hazards can have a dramatic impact on our community, including heat-related illnesses, increased risk of crop and habitat damage, blocked roadways, and infrastructure damage. The Climate Action and Resilience Plan was developed through a collaborative townwide effort that included town staff, community members, residents, businesses, volunteers, and members of the community. We cast a wide net of, to collect potential climate actions, including from town and regional plans and reports. We looked at high impact best practices from other communities. We gathered input and ideas from our plan advisors and ideas and insights from the community. Two groups served as the primary advisors for the plan, the Climate Action Advisory Board and a municipal advisory team. With a long list of potential actions, the plan advisors relied on these four principles to prioritize those actions. The guiding principles represent Concord's values and our climate goals. So actions that had the highest potential impact in these areas became priority actions in the Climate Action and Resilience Plan. The result is 22 priority actions organized into five plan elements. Built in environment, energy, mobility, natural resources, and preparedness. Each element has a goal. These include the following. Concord's buildings and solid waste system minimize greenhouse gas emissions and are resilient to a changing climate. Concord's electricity is 100% carbon free, reliable, and affordable. Everyone has access to zero carbon transportation options to commute and get around Concord. Concord's natural resources are enhanced and supported to provide resilience benefits to the community and to maximize biodiversity and carbon sequestration. And Concord's critical infrastructure is designed to reduce emissions and be prepared for protected climate impacts. Not only does the plan identify 22 priority actions, it also includes implementation blueprints for each action. This is a detailed list of key steps, stakeholders, funding mechanisms, and timeframes, providing important guidance for how we move these ideas from planning into action. Really effective climate leadership also requires that sustainability is integrated into daily operations, decision making, and planning. It calls for a culture of climate change awareness and understanding. 
For these reasons, the plan also identifies three leadership priorities that are cross-cutting and get to the core of integrating sustainability into the areas of governance, education, and social resilience. Congress progress to date is in large part thanks to the efforts of volunteers and community members committed to climate action. Thank you. This plan strives to continue and amplify that work. As you're reading this plan, you might be wondering if it includes a particular idea or program you've heard of or would like to see. The plan lays out top 22 priority actions in Concord for the next five to 10 years. But of course, climate change is a broad and complex problem with many solutions. And in developing this plan, the community and advisory groups identified many other ideas, actions, and programs that could be areas for future study, included in plan updates, or explored in advance by groups in partnership with the town. And we continue to welcome ideas for climate action. You can submit ideas at any time online at concordma.gov slash climate plan. You might also be wondering, now what? This plan lays out priority actions and steps for moving forward, but what's next? The advisory groups identified immediate next steps that will be necessary to move the plan forward from vision to implementation. We'll be working together to address those, including further understanding of the costs and economic benefits of implementation, further review and update of our 2030 targets, and an analysis of progress toward Concord's 2020 reduction goal. And how will we get this all done? This plan will not live on a shelf, but in Concord's day-to-day -day actions. The implementation blueprints in the plan identify champions for each action, and the sustainability division within the town manager's office will oversee implementation and ensure progress is reported annually. And a full review and update of the plan is planned for five years out in 2025. I invite you all to review the draft plan and submit your comments by June 22nd. The plan and comment form can be found on the web at concordma.gov slash climate plan. I also invite you to follow us and join the conversation on social media. You can find us on Twitter and Facebook with the handle Concord Climate. Thanks so much and have a great day.